The prize money is up and the Pinocchio Stampede is where pro rodeo competitors want to cash in during the busy and rich Cowboy Christmas run. The 87th annual event kicked off with a picture-perfect evening in Pinocchio, Alberta, and fans were treated to a real highlight in the bareback riding. The most famous and decorated horse in the world, C5's Virgil, duked it out with a newcomer to the Stampede, Cade Saunier of Louisiana, made the most of his eight-second appointment for an 89-and-a-quarter-point score to set a high bar early in the event. In the tie-down roping, plenty of ropers from the deep south in Pinocchio. Best of the performance was Oklahoma's Chance Thiessen. He wrapped up a calf in 10.1 seconds, running down that famous long score, and that paired nicely with his earlier 9-9, nine and nine, making him overall leader at 20 seconds flat. In steer wrestling, fast time of the performance was a 4.5 from Travis Monroe of Texas. Best on two runs is Riley Wakefield of Nebraska with 11.8 seconds. It was a hometown favorite in the saddle bronc riding as Ben Anderson from nearby Eckville, Alberta, nodded for a lively mount called Blackjack, and he rolled an 86. We head to Texas and Arizona for a top team ropers of the first performance. Paul Eves, the past Canadian champion, and Eric Rogers sped through their run in 5.2 seconds to go with a 7 and 8 from Slack, so 13 flat is the trend setting time. Local competitor Bobby Henderson of Alex usually has a rope in her hand, but she mounted a friend's horse and raced to the barrel racing lead in 17.64 seconds. She's quite a cowgirl. Only one bull rider made it to the whistle on night number one. In fact, Lonnie Phillips of BC badly hurt his ankle in Wainwright, Alberta, but he powered through the pain for an 81 on later Gator, and he's the only mark so far in the bull riding. That's how things shaped up in the first performance of the Pinocchio Stampede. Lots more great action to come. I'm Diane Finstead.